Hello everyone. Now that we have finished the modeling of the character, we will do a turntable animation and render the animation out. And let us see how that is done in Maya. Okay, so this is our character that we finished. I think this is quite glossy, so I'll go to edit, delete by type here. In fact, we should select everything, go to edit delete by type history select this and change this from Fong to Lambert that looks better and the eyes that's fine okay so first we need to get rid of the background so we'll go to our channel box and get rid of that okay. uh, we will create a cylinder and increase the radius to say 3 and the height can be 0.5 okay we can assign a new material again we'll put a Lambert then assign a color to it Like that is good enough. Okay, so it has to be below the foot. So we can zoom in here and see what looks good. That looks good. Okay, now the height of this is too much. Point two is good. We'll go to edge. Double click this. Shift double click this. Modeling. Edit mesh bevel. Type two, maybe three. Okay, maybe point seven. Point five looks good. Okay, and then three. Will make it smooth. Okay, so maybe this is too big. Radius of two. Okay. Now we will create a circle. So we'll add a circle, and then the circle radius can be five. And this is the important part where the section this is 8 we need a big number so 64 otherwise we will not get a smooth uh, animation okay we can even make it 120 or something the more the better so that the circle is smooth and the camera will not have jiggly effect create camera camera shape select this go to animation go to constraint motion path attach to motion path and it has 120 frames so it will use those default numbers so now you can see that it's rotating one entire circle for 180 degrees now we'll look through the camera then now we need to position the camera and decide the radius based on this. So we will have to increase the radius. Fifteen. We'll go here and our output is. 1280 by 720 for example. Okay, we'll go to panels, camera settings, resolution gate. So you see what is getting rendered. You want to make sure that nothing gets cropped from top and bottom. 
and you can see the beginning is not the right place for the character so we will move it so it starts at an angle so now you can click here and then drag and then you can see now that the character is center so here you see it touching the all the other time the character is here. so you can further move it up if you want and then you can decide the radius to be say 14 or 13 so the closer to the camera the better you don't want to get anything get cut so maybe 14 is a better number in my case that is it might be a different number in your case so this could look now the other important thing is that uh, we have to go to window animation editor graph editor and you and the camera was selected so it is creating a slow in and slow out we need to get rid of that so make it linear right so that is important so now what we'll do is we'll go to arnold lights area light so we'll add an area light make it big rotate it down move it up okay and then if you render it nothing is seen go to attribute editor there's no exposure, so let us add an exposure of 6. Maybe exposure of 9. Okay, so it creates uh, good light. Maybe we can add a high intensity also. Maybe intensity of three, and then we'll go to uh, what is it processing? Okay, Arnold lights area light. Control V. Arnold lights sky dome light. Okay, and we will select an HDRI image. So go to file and download an HDRI image from HDRI heaven search for HDRI heaven go to HDRIs and there are HDRI images and it shows here what type of shadow it is going to cast so you need something which has like a softer shadow so this looks good and then you can download like a 4k image so I had downloaded a lot of images already so you can see here I'm using this one which creates kind of a softer shadow there and we don't want this to be visible so let's select it and here camera we will make it zero okay invisibility so when you render it So it adds overall light, so we have nice lights and shadows. Now what we need to do is we need to go to AOVs, denoise, and we'll turn this denoise on. Okay, and then it will remove the noise from the scene as well. And we we need to turn this on as well and then if you go to render settings common we're going to save in characters image so let us go to file set project and i'll set it here and then it is going to go in 
images and render it out. It is just one image, so we will go to rendering, render, render sequence. So this is one thing I don't understand. Maybe this is a bug in Maya 2020. It looks weird here and then if you go to Photoshop and open that file I'll go to file open file open it creates these two files so let us open these two Okay, and then you can see here the denoiser. This is how the original looks, and this is how the denoised one looks. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, we have good lighting and good shadows. What we need to do is we need this light to follow the camera. So we'll hit P. Now you can see that the camera is rotating. All right. So all we need to do now is go and select EXR is important to create the denoise. So render it as EXR. And then we have to render name number extension. We don't have too many files, so it's going to be frame padding of three. Here we will say 120. Here we will say camera shape one. All right. Save this and then go to render, render sequence. All right. And then it will render 120 images. We'll go to after effects go to file import and i want to select the first one and it's going to import all these images and you can export it out as a movie so that's about it thank you very much